What's up, YouTube? What's going on? Raining. Terrible day. Uh, I shouldn't say that. It's not a terrible day. It's never a terrible day. It's just raining. So, but anyway, what are we going to do today? Well, it's even time. It's a little later, but I'm going to try to try to get a start on a project. I've, I've had a few wheels sitting outside. I was wanting to clean them up, put some tires on them. So I figured, let me show you how I clean and polish weld wheels that I've seen that works the best for me. It works the best for me. Now, I'm just gonna tell you, there's nothing that's gonna beat good old fashioned arm grease. But, for the sake of time, Mother's has that polishing ball, everybody's seen it. It works good, works for me. So let me get started from uh, start to finish on this wheel right here. Let me show you what we're so, doing. We got this old wheel here. I'm gonna tell you these tires are done. Uh, really done. And they've got little to no miles on them, to be honest with you. Uh, they just, you know, they've been, these tires have been on these wheels for almost 20 years. They've been on these wheels over 20 years. I've actually had these wheels and tires for almost 20 years. So, I bought a, these are actually five inch wide rims. Uh, they got two old 565s on them. Now I bought a set of 195 65s to go back on them. I'm actually gonna put them on this car right here because the three and a half for the front is just a little bit too narrow for decent street use. Uh, this is probably gonna be my Louisville car when I drive to Louisville to car shows and stuff like this. National stuff like that. Um, but anyway, let's get started on this wheel. First things first, let's get this tire off here. Okay, so let's do a voiceover. The rain was just a little too much. I'm using a Harbor Freight uh, tire changer here. I use it to break the bead. It's not mounted to the floor anywhere. This is all I use it for. Um, now this seemed to come off the bead very easy. It usually don't happen like this considering I'm not even using the bar for leverage. She just, she just comes right down. That's that's pretty rare. I'm just going to tell you, it never happens like this. I'm going to grab some... Uh, couple of tire irons one you know these are pretty cheap from harbor freight the the long chrome one first i'm gonna use the most expensive lubricant known to man Kroll. Then i'm gonna grab my four or five dollar tire iron from harbor freight now the second one i'm gonna grab here this is actually a, a dirt bike tire spoon but it works just fine for stuff like this and like i said i don't know if it's tire stretched out or what but it came off super easy. <clears throat> so, she just gonna pop right loose. tell you it don't get much luckier than that so so far luck is on my side let me just tell you there's a little stem there the stem had broke off it still pumps through the wheel pop nothing to it like i said this is about as lucky as it gets right here now this wheel is pretty bad i'm using uh, crown spray power soak it down pretty good wipe it off you'll probably want to do this a few times i did so, here we go again. She was pretty dirty. I mean, this wheel's actually in super bad shape. And it has some kind of like a black stain in that lip right there I'm trying to get out. So I'm not having much success. Here I found like a little scuff in it. It's bothering me pretty bad. I'm gonna spray it again. 
try to get down that rim real good. Alright, so let me grab a brush here. Brush seems to be doing pretty good on it. Try to scrape it out, but I'm going to tell you it's still not coming out like I'd like it to. Damn, that, that, that nick is just bothering me to death. A little scratch. It almost looks like a crack, but it's not. It's just a straight line scratch. All right, now, let me see here. I'm going to get some scotch bright. I know people are thinking, man, you just destroyed that wheel. Trust me, I went much rougher grit than this on wheels. And I got a feeling this wheel's probably going to require more than this anyway. But we're going to give it a whirl. Maybe for the sake of this video, this is about as far as I'm going to go. And then we're going to get some polish going right here pretty soon. So, yeah, they're getting all kinds of contaminants out of that wheel with the scotch right there. Right, finishing up right now. Get ready to take this wheel. Oh, we're going to spray it again. Rinse it off with the water hose. I'll dry it off real good. Now, this wheel is actually looking pretty good right now. I think we're going to go ahead and give it a whirl. Polishing it, like I said, luck is definitely... It just don't get no better than this. It seems like it's meant to be. So, I think everything's going to go smoothly. And uh, pretty excited about it. One last dry of the wheel. Getting it ready for the polish. She's ready to go, as far as I'm concerned. So for some reason, I don't know why I decided to use my fingers to smear this on here. I think originally I just wanted to see if the texture was decent because this polish is pretty old. I just started smearing it on there and well, I just couldn't stop. So, I guess this is how you apply polish to wheels now. I don't know. I said at the beginning, this is how I polish wheels. This is not how I usually polish wheels. I usually put it on the, the compound, on the rag, or whatever. I dip into it. And, but anyway, don't feel too bad. I think this is how I'm going to do it from now on. Get it good and lathered up with polish. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to grab that mother's ball here in a short, shortly. And this is Mother's uh, Aluminum Mag and Wheel Polish. Can't see it, but I'll plug the picture right here. Alright, so I got a couple drills. I got a 12 volt, a 20 volt. Both will do the job. Brand new Mother's Wheel Ball. Now, I've had this wheel ball for about eight years. Oh, uh-oh. Oh. What in the world has happened to this thing? Well, so much for good luck. Remember guys, these things have a shelf light on them. I found out today. Well, that's it for that video. Stay tuned for part two tomorrow evening. I'll go get another one. So just so you know, the mother's ball has a shelf life on it. Peace.